hey 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 you guys i am back with another video and today's topic we are talking all about 10 feminine hygiene essentials every woman needs so i'm going to be putting pictures here up on the um um on one of these sides for you guys to see but these are some things that you need for your feminine hygiene, meaning your downstairs area to make sure everything stays fresh. Y'all know I'm always talking about smell goods on this channel. I also talk about self-care, motivation, and a little bit of entrepreneurship. So if any of those topics interest you, keep on watching. All right, so the first thing you need in order to make sure your feminine hygiene is on point is some type of baby wipes or feminine hygiene. And I'm gonna put some pictures of some examples that I'm talking about. You know, so many times, um, you know, especially with the summer months coming in, you you may get, you know, sweaty or something. Even if it wasn't the summer months, you should keep these feminine wipes inside of your purse. You should keep these feminine wipes or baby wipes in your bathroom just to freshen up. It's nothing wrong with you guys freshening up. The second thing you need to make sure that you have a couple of is deodorant. You can have the miniature kind in your purse. Y'all remember last week I talked about the to-go bag? I'm going to make sure I put it up in the cards for you guys of all the little things that you need in your to-go bag when you're going out and about. But in order for you to stay fresh, you're going to need some form of deodorant. I don't care what kind of deodorant it is. Whatever deodorant that works for you. Deodorant that worked for me may not work for you because our body chemistry, body type is totally different. But find a deodorant that works for you. The third thing I say you need around the house is a vinegar. Vinegar is used for a lot of things. Vinegar can get your pH balance back on point. Vinegar can be used to clean the underarms of your shirts. Vinegar can be used to put in your bath water. Vinegar can be used for a lot of things. You can even take a cotton swab or cotton round and put vinegar on there at night after your shower just to give your arm a little rest from deodorant and stuff freshen and make sure your armpits are really clean and vinegar does the job and the next one you need is some type of pad or tampons for that time of the month we all have it unless you are at menopause sometimes i'll be wondering am i at menopause because i'd be so hot you know comment below if y'all if y'all have those kind of episodes where it's like you just get out the shower but you hot is crazy like everybody else in the house is cold but you hot so um some type of pads or tampons. The next one is make sure you are wearing cotton panties or if you must wear the silk, make sure the seat of it is cotton because you need your girl down there needs to breathe. So that is another one. Um, and I go more in depth in my video that I did on how to get rid of body odor. So if you missed that, I'm going to have it here in the cards for you as well because y'all yeah, know I want you guys to smell your absolute best. And then the next one is some form of non-talc powder. That can be used for under your boobies. That can be used, you know, on the back side a little bit, down there on your inner thighs. Because the more it gets hot and your it gets sweaty down there, then your thighs start rubbing together and it can cause them to get a little chafe. So putting a little non tap powder down there is a great way to keep the um keep you fresh and keep you not chased down there. And then the next one is um some type of perfume or body mist every woman needs some form of perfume or body mist you know it could be any can you know whatever works for you guys whatever you like you guys and then the next one is a skincare regimen long gone them days where you just wash your face with water if you want to get your face really really clean especially if you wear makeup you're going to need to have a skincare regimen like a cleanser, a facial cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer. And if you're like me and you're more of a seasoned woman, you have the little eye cream. And if, even if you're younger, it's best to be preventive than to, to wait till you get my age. And, you know, the little eye cream to keep the little puffiness away under your eyes. And, you know, just make sure you're toning your skin and make sure you're moisturizing your skin. Because the older you get, your skin tend to get drier. So make sure you're moisturizing your skin on a daily basis. And then the next one is, um, my all-time um, favorite is keep some form of Irish Spring in your showers. That's for back, back stair because I'm telling you, back there it, it you know i'm telling you guys that back there area and i don't know about you but i don't really like doing anything other than peeing in public but if i have to 
I always carry me a little thing of poopery. I even keep them in my bathroom at my house too. But especially, you know, when I'm doing, you know, number two, you want to keep that little stitch, that little file down, you know, you don't want it to be just crazy, crazy. So keeping that, you know, spray a couple of sprays in your water, in your toilet before you go and it'll keep that funk down. And then the next thing is keep some form of lotion, ladies. Keep some hand lotion in your bag. Keep some lotion in the bathroom. Because when you wash your hand a lot, they get dry. And like now we use a lot of hand sanitizer. It keeps your hands dry. So if you could get some Vaseline. So, and I'm reading up the other day. Y'all know I'm always reading and studying about hygiene stuff. But I was reading where you need some lotion with retinol in there. Because it's good for um, ridding wrinkles and all that. And y'all know I'm, I, I ain't no young girl. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be looking for that because I don't want my hands to be looking like they all rough and stuff. And so with my body, you want to keep your body as smooth and soft as possible. And then, like I said, always have your to-go bag. Nobody got to know what's in, inside of your purse. You can keep it inside of your car, in your glove department, wherever you need to keep it. But as a woman, there are just certain things you need to have all the time at all, at, you know, whenever you're out and about or even if you're just at home you need these types of things to make sure your feminine hygiene is on point because i'm telling you you can have on the cutest outfit makeup be on fleek you know i don't know if they really say that anymore but okay but um you can be looking all on point everything on point hair in place ain't not a string out of place but then you have a smell down there. that that looking good goes all out the window I mean, it's like if you really want to mess yourself up, go out stinky and looking good. I promise you, if anybody approach you, and here's the thing, people ain't going to tell you you stink. They'll talk about you, but they're not going to tell you. But make sure you keep yourself on point down there. I'm telling you, you don't want no fishy smells. You don't want, And if you are having real bad odor down there, please, please, ladies, go see a gynecologist because it could be something else going on. You know, and like I said, it could be a numerous of things, but like I said, I'm not a gynecologist. I'm not a doctor. I've just, I've just given you these examples of things that have worked for me. You know, make sure you're drinking a lot of water. If you don't like drinking plain water, add you some fruits and um, some lemon in there. You know, if you um, buy your cranberry juice instead of buying red wine, get you some original cranberry juice and and drink that. That'll kind of get your pH balance. Like I said, put a half a cup of vinegar in your bath water. That'll get your pH balance back on point. Because like I said, every woman's body is different. And that's why it's so important for you to get your annual pep smear, your annual checkups, you know, get your mammograms. I just had my pep exam done last weekend, going back um, next week to do my mammogram because I got to take care of me. You don't get but one body. So it's best to take care of the body that God has blessed you with. So that is what I'm saying to you. Make sure your feminine hygiene is on point. And these are just some, some basic products that you need, you know, essentials that every woman need. Because, you know, like I said, everybody's body is different. But at the end of the day, we're all here to help each other out. But if you are not taking the proper necessary steps to get yourself checked out, you know, it could be from things that they can avoid if you go get your regular checkup. So I hope today's video helps you. Y'all know, um, like I always say, give me some topics that you guys want me to do more of. I know I'm going to be going back, um, doing some more shop with me videos, but let me know in the comments what types of topics you want me to talk on for pep talks um, with Latursa on Mondays because that's my day that I give you guys some life lessons, motivations or anything like that. Um, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm always talking to you guys in my stories because um, I think I put up my picture. I just got my flowers, you guys, for Mother's Day last weekend and for my accomplishment. But my flowers, didn't, my roses didn't last the two weeks. They, they, they did. I put on my stories. If y'all got some tips for your girl, I don't know if I got a green thumb. I'm an agriculture girl, but I don't know if I'm a green thumb girl because my roses don't be staying alive. But if y'all got some tips, hit me up on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to have it right here on the screen for you guys. Um, I always talk to you guys a lot in my stories and comment on my last post because I'm trying to get more active on Instagram because I know I'm hardly ever on Facebook. I, I, Facebook and me, we just ain't really 
besties or whatever but instagram i like instagram but i'm trying to get more active on there so make sure you guys are follow me over there on instagram like i said i talk to you guys and post a lot of polls in my story so that you guys can talk back to me and let me know if you want me to do some um instagram lives um as well so god bless and i'll see you in the next video Bye.